Welcome to Voro Motors. Today we're replacing the headlights and horn on the Wolf King GT Pro. You're going to need a 3mm hex key, a 5mm hex key, some needle nose pliers, pin tool, and a zip tie. The first step is to remove the back cover. There are four screws holding it in place, which you can remove using a 3mm hex key. Next, remove the zip tie around the step-down transformer. This will give you more room to work with the wires. You can use the pliers or blade or scissors, just be careful not to cut any wires. Now, follow the wire leading from the horn to the step-down transformer. It plugs into a white connector near the bottom of the transformer. Go ahead and unplug it. Next, unplug the headlights from the red connector directly above the horn connector. If there's glue surrounding the connector, Go ahead and remove that as well. On the front of the scooter, you can now unscrew the headlights and horn. Pull the headlights down to reveal two screws holding them in place. Use your 5mm hex key to remove them. Next, remove the old headlights from the bracket they're attached to. You'll need to use your needle nose pliers to hold the nut while you unscrew it with your 5mm hex key. This bracket comes with the scooter, but does not come with a headlight replacement, so make sure to hold on to it so you can mount your new lights. Also, your new headlights and horn do not come with a connector, so you're going to have to reuse your existing connectors. You can use a pin tool to remove any glue from the connector before using it to push down on the locking flaps and slipping the wires out. Then, on the new wires, make sure the locking flaps are raised. Insert them into the connector and give them a tug to make sure they're secure. Remember, the red wire goes on the left and the black wire on the right. Now you're ready to attach the headlights to the bracket. So let's do that. Attach your new headlights to the bracket. Hand tighten them at first to get them into place. Then use the pliers and 5mm hex key again to tighten them. You want them to be firmly attached, but not overly tightened. Now you can go ahead and mount your new lights and horn back onto the scooter. Line up the holes with the horn flush against the scooter, then the headlight bracket on top of it to hold it in place. Use your 5mm hex key to tighten the screws. Once they're secured to the front, run the cables to the back side and plug them in. Remember, the horn plugs into the white connector near the bottom of the transformer and the headlights plug into the red connector right above it. Now that it's all plugged in, test your lights and horn to make sure it's all working properly before you seal it up. If it's all in working order, go ahead and use a zip tie to secure the step down transformer. Loop it around the back and tighten in place. Now all that's left is to replace the back cover. Tuck all the cables in as neatly as you can to avoid pinching any wires. Then use a 3mm hex key to screw it into place. You're all set! Thanks for watching! Check out our channel for more tutorials and visit us at voromotors.com.